Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You will all be pleased to know, or at least I hope you will, uh, I'm back now, one day break yesterday. I'm sure you'll all agree that my darling wife did a fantastic job of uh, taking me off and delivering a, a really accurate synopsis of the last kind of month's hard work. Um, thank you for that. I think it's really clear and obvious for everybody to see that, you know, she's the wind beneath my wings and my biggest, my biggest fan. So again, I'm going to take a bit of time out to, to say that, you know, I appreciate you. <laughs> um, but I mean, you know, come on, it, it's, it's not what I want to talk about today. Um, but I think there is a, a really, really important message to be spoken of and that's that if you start taking yourself too seriously you know if you can't take the piss out of yourself and and those around you if you can't have a bit of a laugh then you know what i feel a bit sorry for you you know you, you you've got to inject a bit of humor a bit of fun a bit of light-heartedness into all of this because by and large success in in, in any, you know, part of your life, however you define success, it's hard work. It's, 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 you know, it's a tough gig. So I love the fact that none of this has to be taken too seriously. And I think it's a very, very big mistake if you convince yourself that it has. Um, and I'm actually going to um, dedicate an episode uh, or maybe even some episodes uh, that will touch on that and me expand that because I think it's really important for people to understand that this hasn't got to be a long, hard slog. And I think having some fun with it is the starting point of it being a much more enjoyable journey. But once uh, I saw that video yesterday and I decided I, I wanted to throw it on, it, it, it made me consider something which has been going on a lot during this lockdown in this household. And it's been the number one reason me and Anna um, have had little disagreements, arguments, and, um, you know, kind of bad interactions with each other and it, the reason it is is because Anna like I think most people in fairness to her is looking at this coronavirus and looking for kind of answers looking for explanations looking for some kind of um, clarification on what may or may not happen. And then normally that, that will lead very naturally and, and, and kind of, you know, obviously into debate. People will have different opinions about different things. I've mentioned before, Anna works at the airport. So, you know, a big one um, for us on two levels. When are we going to be going on holiday again? And when is Anna going to be able to go back to work? Is, you know, when will the airports open? How will people fly? And, you know, you've only got to open any news app or newspaper or turn the telly on to see all the contradictory information that's flying around, all the different viewpoints and some of the kind of dramatizations of things. You know, one paper will say we'll have a we'll have a vaccine by August. The next one will say we're going to be in lockdown for two years. And th there's so much uncertainty and negativity flying around. And and Anna, I think, you know, is 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 very um, obviously w wanting to kind of talk about that and, and you know she, she enjoys that side of it and I um, am completely the other way and and I'll admit probably annoyingly so I am really trying to remain as positive as I can be throughout all of this I'm, I'm almost being a bit uh, probably naive uh, and, and, and blocking out some stuff which maybe I shouldn't be but that friction between Anna wanting the information and me shutting the information out 
and, and almost dealing with this just on a day-to-day -day basis and staying incredibly positive throughout all this has been, there's been a bit of a clash there on a few occasions. And I can understand that. And I don't think either of us is right or wrong. I just think it's quite obvious that when two people are going through a situation like this and have two completely different ways of dealing with it and they're under the same roof and we can't really escape, they're gonna, they're gonna clash. And it really got me thinking, um, mainly because I'm doing these videos and, and everything that I'm doing now, I'm kind of analyzing in a good way and I'm trying to find answers out. And it just made me, made me think, why do I approach this the way I do? Why am I almost blindly negative towards it? You know, and, and I really am. Like, you know, if you ever get the chance, you should ask Anna. She could easily set up a YouTube channel called like Living With A Nutcase. And she'd probably have 10 times the amount of subscribers I'd have. And I've really thought long and hard about why I think I'm being so positive about this situation. And I think the number one reason is this. I think that I don't tend to live in the present day. I live five to ten years down the road and I have such laser focus on the end goal. We spoke about this a few episodes ago, that the, the result of everything I'm doing today is where my head tends to be. And it's that vision, it's that end destination that allows this time we're living at the minute to be just a chapter of what is hopefully going to be a fascinating story in 15 years. And what I really want to try to achieve this morning is to just emphasize how important it is to have your eye on the prize. If you have your eye on the end destination, what will be, not naively, but just have that as the undercurrent to everything you do, you'll find that a lot of the problems and a lot of the issues, they, they don't weigh you down as much as they may weigh others down that are living in the now. And I am going to end today's episode with a quote, and it's a quote by Henry Ford, who obviously found Ford Motors, and it really rounds off today's episode beautifully, and it's this. Obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eye off the goal. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers.